All right, guys, we are back here in part two of the Minecraft Marathon event. There's a bunch of people hanging out on the server at the moment. Uh, I'm about to join a Skype call with Mark, and we're going to uh, give away uh, the prize that I had come up with that I'm going to be giving away. So Sarge just auctioned off a uh, uh, Minecon uh, 2012 cape, which is pretty awesome, and it brought in a good amount of money. We're going to find out here in a moment exactly how much it was, and then uh, we're going to auction off my item. We're also going to, uh, in this uh, episode here, I think we're going to just check out some of the creative world, and we're also going to play a pvp game called mark wars which is a lot of fun all right guys here goes nothing yep so uh we're back here guys and uh we're about to auction off uh for uh the the co-star with direwolf uh video so we're gonna do a single player video you'll be able to join me in my single player world and co-star with me for an episode and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh you know anything you guys want to do like if uh the winner wants to build something in particular or if they want to learn something in particular we'll basically make that whole single player episode about whatever the the winner of the auction uh wants to do and then uh they'll be in the video it'll be like you know my average 30 minute video or so and it'll go up on youtube just just standard single player episode so that is the uh the auction that we have on right now so you can see we're still on the server we're still checking out this awesome place and uh yeah i'm ready when you are mark yep i think oh we're i ready. also want to say too that uh what was the winning bid there was it twelve hundred dollars for the minecon cape winning bid yeah was twelve hundred dollars nice made that uh, thank you, Serge, for donating. That's awesome. Very exciting. Transition I, I, right into another exciting auction. I'm glad I could uh, offer it for a charity, and that was definitely better use than putting it on my back. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All, All right. right. Let's, uh, let's get this business started. Uh, we are going to auction off a spot in a video with Direwolf20. You guys will be doing something together. Yep. Let's get a good one. Starting the bid at five dollars, we have fifty dollars and one hundred dollars from okay. Black Dog Z. It's already up. I see a <laughs> hundred. There are a bunch of bid attempts, and uh, Black Dog Z shot them all down. <laughs> so I'm hoping this thing gets up there pretty good. Um, we're gonna see. Hey, look, there we go. The twelve hundred, the twelve hundred dollar bid just came through. I did. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that auction. Four hundred dollars by J. G. Dovin. Wow. Four fifty. Okay, you. Five hundred. My, my <laughs> limit is passed. <laughs> <laughs> I think my limit is passed as well. I'm just gonna fly around this creative world and check out what some people have built while we're doing this auction. By the way. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport myself to you. We have a new high bid of five hundred dollars by Mugs, five fifty by L S U Nation two nine five one. Remember, guys, these are all legit bids. They all uh, must be done immediately afterwards. Right. We appreciate that. Oh, I see a bid, bid for eight hundred. Is that $100 what I'm saying? dollars by Railford. Nice. Yeah, guys, I know we can bring this up there, right? We can. Eight hundred dollars. Look at Direwolf Twenty in his Steve skin. That yep. might be a. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you, Mark, why I do the Steve skin? No, I did. Uh, I don't know. Uh, because I use so many mods, I want people to remember I'm still playing Minecraft. <laughs> I figure something needs to be vanilla in this. In this, so I figured my skin would be a good hint. <laughs> you should consider the skin I made for you. It's almost vanilla skin. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool. Just, All right, just we see it going time. once for eight hundred dollars. I think we can do a little better than that, right, guys? There we go, eight fifty. Nice. Eight fifty by mugs. Thank you, mugs. Yep, that is great. I just want to beat the minecon cape. <laughs> is that wrong to say? <laughs> some no, that's a very good goal. Go for it. I think that's perfectly fine. Cool. 875 by Railford. We're starting to see smaller, smaller increments here. Nice. People are getting to the ends of what they can do. I think the auction is starting to maybe wrap itself up, but I think we can do higher. Already, there it is. Mugs, $900. Awesome. These are the yes. final crucial, important seconds of an auction. We can see anything happen. We can see some bid snipes. $900 by mugs. Co-star with Direwolf in a video. Yep. You'll be on Nine, YouTube with me. We'll have uh, a good time. 925. Remem you. Remember everyone, this might be as rare as my cape. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, this is honestly the first time I've ever done anything like this, like anything along these lines. So, 
we're gonna have to see how it does. You know, I'm I'm thinking it'll be a popular event, and then uh, you know maybe we'll have to see. But uh, this is definitely the first time ever. That I'm gonna have like you know just the, just one of the random fans kind of come in and join and and hang out in my world with me and, and do a video. I think this is the closest you could ever get to buy a self a place on a server like Forgecraft, even if it's not Forgecraft in this case. Yeah, Nine it definitely is. Bye bye Railford. Nice. I really <clears throat> want to see it break a thousand. That's my goal. Come on, Foogie Man. I know you've got a thousand dollars lying around. <laughs> Boogie Man, our server admin, is a big Direwolf fan. He's probably embarrassed that I'm saying that over the stream right now. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. I'm just enjoying this creative world. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Right now, it seems to be tweaking out a little bit. I'm getting, like, weird flashes. Oh, there it goes. It looked like lightning was striking everywhere. It's now nighttime. Flying around, seen a high bid of a thousand dollars by mugs. Is it? Did he? Yeah, he did. Look at that. Nice, a thousand dollars. All right. So I feel like I'm giving away something good now. I'm, I'm happy. I wasn't sure how popular this would be, to be honest with you. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, it's a wonderful cause. It's very popular. High bid, one thousand and five dollars by Railford. We hear. Do we hear $1,050 perhaps? At this point, we're, we want to bump up those increments just a little bit. $1,050 from anyone. Current winning bid, $1,005. Oh, dude, I found this giant sign to me that says I, I posted 800 videos. <laughs> That's I did. Cool. $1,200 by James at MC Pro Hosting. Oh, wow, James. Awesome. <laughs> We hear, we have twelve hundred. Do we hear twelve fifty? MC Pro Hosting really does rock. I mean, they're doing some awesome stuff just with the whole, you know, the event all weekend and just how generous our guys have been. It's uh it's pretty incredible. It is. Congratulations, Wolf. You just reached your goal. You did, did I better oh. than the Cape. That's nice. Twelve fifty. <laughs> That's awesome. And meanwhile, I continue to fly around in uh, creative. This place is cool. So many crazy things built. Whoa. 1,500? Did we? For real? What? Did we just put. Whoa. All right. Hey there. 1,500. <laughs> Hello. Awesome. $1,500. Wow. Out of curiosity, what's your record for, uh, for the bids this weekend? I believe um, Matt at MC Pro Hosting bid $2,000 for the Matt account. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> well, there you go. So, it just so happened that last year, near the end of our event, going once for $1,500, near the end of last year's event, we had a fellow named Matt who had a Minecon cape donate his account. We weren't able to auction it off because it was kind of last minute. Right. Uh, we ended up holding on to it for a year. And then I became friends with Matt at MC Pro Hosting. I said, hey, we have this Matt account <laughs> that we can give you. So that was very fortuitous. $1,600 by mugs. Whoa. $1,600. Nice. $1,600 to co-star in a video with Direwolf once in a while opportunity, once in a lifetime perhaps for some people. First time ever for sure. That's what we can definitely say. <laughs> Will it be the last? I don't know. But definitely the first, and it won't be common either. Well, hey, if your videos go for uh, for sixteen hundred dollars for charity, man, this might have to be you know a thing in the future at some point. Yeah, I'm definitely just... thinking uh, future charity events will definitely do something along these lines. Like yeah, I said, we... I was just kind of thinking, like trying to figure out what I could do for this, and uh, that was just the best idea I had. Yeah, no, that's a that's a fantastic idea. I was thinking of offering a you know a slot on my server or something, but I didn't think it would get for you know for very much but this video that's a that's a piece of history you got that video you can record it and keep it on your computer and everything yep twice all right looks like six. mugs might be the winner here it's coming up it's going thrice to mugs going for thrice. 1600 excellent <laughs> direwolf matt wants you to know <laughs> need server hosting talk to him will do will do he's in, in a number of sponsor servers he sponsors my server uh, which my players play on. Awesome. 
There we go, so Mugs is the winner. Old co-star with Direwolf to Mugs, $1,600. So just for a moment here, I want to give a shout-out to Mugs, because he's donated a silly amount of money this weekend, hasn't he? He has. If we pull up uh, the Minecraft Marathon website currently, we can see the top donors. Mugs is uh, at the top. Actually, going to pause the video that auto-played. Uh, he's at 2471 and wow. that's before the last bid came in. Wow. So he's donated at this point like $4,000? Oh. Is that math correct? That's getting right about there. I've also been told that um, Muggs has been uh, in, in these and has been buying... Oh, I see he's been buying people whitelisting, so some of these might not even be labeled as his. He's oh, been wow. buying people whitelisting for the server as well. Very generous. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for this. We'll wait for that to come through. That'll push us up to a good amount. I think before the end of the events, which ends here at 5 p.m. in just about an hour and a half, I think we can break $40,000. I'd like to see that, absolutely. I would absolutely like to see $40,000 go. And now remember, last year we raised $11,000. So we have already tripled what we did last year. Yeah. That's, that's impressive, man. But, I mean, in honesty, like, you know, I got a shout-out to Mark, who spent months putting this organization together, and, you know, all the other people who I honestly don't know who they are probably because... <laughs> but there's probably dozens of people who have helped you out. But, I mean, you're definitely, like, the driving force behind this, Mark, so kudos to you. Thank you. Well, we have people here like Scotter Dude, who's just yeah. kind of playing. He drove himself down, hour-and-a-half drive, spent his time here... Stayed overnight, slept at weird hours, played on the server for your guys' enjoyment. We've had, you know, 30, 40 people show up to our physical event. We've had about that many people that have made the event possible remotely. Donation of 850 from Railford. Nice. What, uh, what is that for? <laughs> it says, and I read his comics. I, I can see the uh, the analytics here. Railford, donation of 850. It says. Coaster with Direwolf, I tried at least. <laughs> <laughs> that is and awesome. Thank you so much, Railford, for your generous donation. Showed up there it goes. It shows up in the uh, in the chat stream for the game. Very, very cool. Generous. That is very awesome. I might have to uh, get in touch with Railford and do something nice for him because that's a very generous donation right there. If you need anyone's contact information for things this weekend, shoot me an instant message. Oh yeah, no, I can track him down. Definitely. Right. It's a very generous donation. We're, uh, we're waiting on the Mugs one here, but he's been shooting us donations all weekend long. I'm not even worried. That is cool. Oh! Is that right? Oh, There's a creeper head in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I just read uh, the top and previous bids, and it's, it's very exciting. $38,280.43 so far. Guys, this is more than some people make in an entire year. And that that's not counting uh, Muggs' donation yet? Did Muggs' come through yet? Double checking. Did not come through just yet, so that would bump us up to about... 38.80? 39.80, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 39.880, I believe, is where you'll be at. So $120 more, and then you'll break that, you know, 40000 that's awesome. That is really close to forty thousand. Yeah. yeah, I think I think you'll I think you'll make it. That direwolf thing still donated eight fifty. Yeah, I know. We we just talked about it on the stream for a minute. Um, yeah. Very exciting. Uh, so the the server right now wants to know: Are we ready for some Mark War? I'm just gonna fly around showing this. We're on the call right now with Surge and Direwolf Twenty. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with us. Sure, man. I could do some Mark War if you want. If you want to keep it going. I if one or both of you want to be a part of this, just let me know. And we'll we'll play the new Mark War game type that they've been cooking up this weekend. <laughs> All right, I think that sounds like a plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording for a moment, and then we'll be back once Mark War starts. And I'll just kind of film uh, one round of Mark War for my YouTube video as well. Great. All right, sound. guys, we'll be back soon. All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> There's lots of yelling going on in the background. There's Everyone lots of great. celebration because they just passed 40,000 total for the weekend. And we're playing right, Mark I the, War. I see the first blue player approaching. Oh no. Take him down. 
So He's Mark War, uh, real quick explanation for those who are watching on YouTube at the moment, uh, is a game where the admins and VIPs are uh, in a castle, and all the people who have donated are trying to assault the castle. So there's very few number of admins and VIPs, so they get like diamond swords and a little bit of armor going on, and the, uh, the, the players get uh, some other stuff. So, I haven't been a player, so I don't know exactly what they get. <laughs> but there's a castle with all kinds of cool stuff here. Like, you can see, like, uh, if you step on these pressure plates, it's shooting uh, arrows from the dispensers right in front of me. Yeah, the players actually, they get off of the ship, they go raid a town, they have various supplies. I don't think they have, uh, doesn't think they have diamond supplies or anything, but they've got, some of them have swords, some of them have axes, some leather armor. And it's all automated, too, so it keeps track of, like, you know, how people are doing. And I'm terrible at sniping. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too good there. Oh, one of them does have maybe a diamond sword. Is that what that was? It might have been. Did he kill somebody and get that? Could be. We're looking for blue players. Any blue players, we're going to take them out. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing explosions. There's a TNT cannon that you can shoot TNT. We're kind of running short on time here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, What do you have, half an hour left? Is that right? Yeah, we, we have an hour and a half left. Oh, okay. We're going to run through a game of Mark War here. We're recording. We've got, we're streaming live. We've got Direwolf recording a YouTube video right now with us in this call. And then after this, we have a very exciting auction for everyone. Uh, Matt, if you could close that after me, I'm going to go on the offensive. <coughs> Bye. Oh, no. He, oh, he wouldn't close that gate, probably. <laughs> They're trying to run outside the castle gate. There's no way to close it behind you. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go on the offensive here. We've got flaming arrows everywhere. Is it too much to say I want to hit 42,000? Just because 42 it, is a very good number. It's not too much to say that. I think that it is possible to hit 42,000 before the end of the event. We have an hour and a half left and some auctions and raffles still going. Seeing how it's the meaning of life and everything. It is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Exactly. So I think everything. we can make that a reality. <laughs> All right. Here, what do we have? Uh, 38 donors are still alive. You know, it, it's interesting that... Oh, oh, no, I'm getting I'm getting killed. No. Half of my life left. All right, you're still alive, though, so that's good. I'm still alive. I'm, I'm running back to the castle momentarily to regenerate some health. This is a crazy castle, and I always get lost in it. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I was killed. No. I didn't have really enough health left. Ah, oh, there's bad guys in the castle. Take them down. Well, that was exciting. Dyer is still in the game. Still recording. Not for him. long. I'm terrible at this. You might get knocked out. If I don't have quantum armor, I'm not winning. I keep hearing about quantum armor and nano swords, and I'm not sure. I think these are things that you're making up, sir. <laughs> no, well, one of these days you'll uh, accept my invitation and you will come learn. I, I will. Oh no, this guy has a diamond sword. That's not good. Adokai, save me. 27 donors are left. 26. You got him. You got him, Dire Wolf. Good job. Nah, it, was a, it, was a, it was a team effort. Me and Hadokai. Well, oh, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong. That's another thing I do a lot is pronounce things wrong. It's gotten to the point where modders are, are naming things really hard to say words just to watch me pronounce them wrong. Like, that's not even a joke. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Boogeyman. Another kill. 26 donors are still alive. 26 donors are still alive. Where are they all hiding? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we can definitely hear some celebration in the background there going over the uh, 40k mark. Yeah, everyone is in a, a jovial mood. Oh, dude, that's like a huge achievement, really, if you think about it. $40,000 is amazing, and it's all for charity. Ten admins are still alive. I think the game is wrapping itself down. I'm going on the offensive. Let's go, blue guys. Dyer's going on the offensive. Here goes nothing. This guy's got a cape. 18 donors, still alive. I'm chasing him down. He's running. <laughs> All right. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give up on him. Let's see. 18 donors are still alive. Oh, I see. Good. I see somebody with a blue wall head. I'm out here in the hub. I got knocked out of the game, but Direwolf is leading the pack, as we say. Come here, you. I got somebody. VIPs are giving themselves enchantments. Nope, no cheating. There are actually enchanting potions and enchanting tables deep inside the castle. Yep. Uh, but the you know the trade-off there is that nice. Makes, the uh, the enchanting tables and enchanting potions take valuable time. The barbarian horde can overrun you in that time. This is an awesome map, by the way, and it's all automated too. Like uh, you know. It's all like specially coded so that it auto calculates everything. And... Good job, fourteen donors still alive. Oh, I BSWE believe... just took someone down. Yeah, I think it, so. The game actually ends. The win condition is that a certain number of players uh, have to be alive. It's it's a small percentage or a set number have to be alive um, in order for the win condition to happen because you don't want to go chasing down those extra one or two people. Yeah. So We've still got a couple alive people. Oh, I think I see somebody in the distance. So anytime you see a person with blue wool on their head, we're rapidly approaching that time. Arctic spider. Got him. You got him? Yeah. Good job. I'm stalking someone. I think Dire Wolf stalked their prey. <laughs> I, I think so too. <laughs> Eleven donors. Good job. Does this king? Does this one keep a score? Like how many uh, kills you get? Uh, I don't think it does yet, but there's definitely room for expansion on this game type. Yeah. This is a pretty neat map. This is what I like about Minecraft, I'll be honest with you, is just there's so much you can do with it. Like, you can turn it from a PvP game to a PvE to building to, I mean, like, I don't think we're out of ideas yet. There's still tons of things people are coming up with. Yeah, there's absolutely, there's a lot that we can still do with Minecraft. I mean, I think that that's only going to change with the future of the modding APIs. I'm very excited about that because yeah. you can play any other game in Minecraft. I mean, you can play StarCraft in Minecraft. You can play World of Warcraft in Minecraft. You can play a game that doesn't end in craft in Minecraft. This is true. All right, I'm struggling to find anybody for a bit. I think once it gets down to about eight or so, it'll end. Okay, I'm going to stop recording for a minute because now it's just me running around. <laughs> but I'll be back, guys, once I find somebody to kill. All right, guys, we're tracking down the last of the players here, but we do need to wrap up. Mark has to get going, so... Um, oh, there we go. Something happened. Most donors have died. Admins won. Nice. Fantastic. Fruga Man won the game there. Good job, Admins. Fuji Man. <clears throat> nice. Like, what other games are there that can just constantly run like that, where you've got a small group of defenders and a large group of players? This was custom made this weekend by uh, MC Pro Hosting and by the Voxel Box and by Planet Minecraft and uh, Minecraft Forum staff. And everyone really came together and made that game type specifically for this weekend. Yeah, between that and Craft Brothers and Capture the Flag and the survival and creative worlds you've got going on on the server, it just really shows, like, Minecraft is cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Not, not much else I can say about it, right? Minecraft yep. is very flexible. All right, guys, so we got to wrap up. So this is Direwolf20 signing off from Minecon 2013, or Mine, Minecraft Marathon 2013. Hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, all the crazy stuff on the server. If you were able to get on, if you donated, thank you very much for everything. And look forward to the upcoming uh, single-player video where I have uh, the Mugs, who's going to join me for an episode. And special thanks to him and uh, Railford also for making some big donations during our time slot here. All right, guys. And Mark, awesome. 40,000, dude, and climbing. Awesome. Thanks for thanks for being with us. I'll talk to you two later. All right. Take it easy, guys. Oh, and don't forget, Mark promised to learn mods with me, so you'll see him in a video <laughs> upcoming in the future. He made a promise. I it's already in, it's, it's written in stone. All right. <laughs> take it easy, guys.